Hello, this is Tofu and Trifle Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you a way you can have um, some unique lighting in your Blender scenes uh, by using the Better Lighting add-on. Um, it's an add-on you have to pay for, but it's, it's not that bad. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of unique in the way the lighting is, but we'll jump into that as we look through the add-on. But I'm using Blender 3.4. And it's for uh, 3.4 all the way to 4.0. And the installation is the same process. I'll leave a link of it below this video so you guys can download yourselves and check it out. Uh, but go to Edit, Preferences. Uh, make sure you're, you're in the Add ons option and click on Install. And then navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system. Click on that zip folder. Click on Install Add on. I've already done that myself. And let me type in better and put a check in the box. <clears throat> Excuse me, check in the box and it's already activated. And it's on the right hand side of your UI, which is the toolbar and it's right here. It's a pretty straightforward setup and it only works in cycles, non EV. So we're going to change our viewport here, options and render. Uh, click on the icon, turn from EV to cycles. And if you have a strong graphics card, uh, change it from CPU to GPU compute. And I'm going to click on uh, that icon there to change my viewport shading. Make the world a little bit darker so we can really see the lights in action. Pull this down a bit. Now you have um, preset options here because it's all presets. And you have the bigger thumbnail here. And click on that. It's got all these options here. These are the main categories. Because for each main category, as you can see, there's subcategories. And like I said before, it's like unique lighting setups. It's like uh, underwater setups. Um, I guess you can call it um, nebula setups for galaxies, things like that. And some pretty unique patterns. Got some Gobos lighting here. So it's got a really wide variety of lighting setups here, which is pretty unique. But we're going to click on it. Start with the first one. Click on import. And it'll have it'll bring in a light for you, um, spotlight. And left click to accept that. You can't really see it on the cube. You can see it a little bit. But if you want to, let's let's make a uh, plane so you can see a lot better. So Shift A, mesh plane. S to scale this up. And there you go. Let's get rid of this cube. Click on the cube and press delete. And that's the setup. It looks pretty nice, actually. Let's get rid of that extra light. Delete that so we can see this a bit more. And initially, when I first saw it, I kind of thought you could, you know, delete one light automatically when you import another one. But that's not how it works. As you choose lights, it doesn't delete the lights that you've already imported before. It just keeps them there, which is not bad. But for each main preset category, there's also a subcategory. Uh, let me see it. It's on uh, cycles. I don't know why it's giving us this. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Gave us that warning that I don't, I don't know why that was there. But for each main category, there are subcategories. So there's two options. So you can click on that to change the preset to something different. And as you scroll down, you can change, you have options to change the color of it. The strength, seed, so on and so forth. And once again, when you when uh, any add-on in Blender uses the word seed, it just means variation. You know, if you just slide this up, it changes the way the pattern lays out on whatever it's reflecting on. Uh, I can change the color from just clicking on that option there. Change it in the color wheel to any color you want. Uh, you can affect the distortion of it. You can change that panel. It's like a uh, kaleidoscope. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. But it's got that kaleidoscope effect, which is pretty cool. Uh, the aberration of it, the rotation, you can actually even animate it. So it's the same process as, you, as, as I've shown before. Make sure you're on the timeline, hover your mouse over here. Uh, click I on your keyboard. Once it's yellow, that means it's animated. It should show in the timeline, but I guess it doesn't. If you go to 60, and drag this up a little bit. I again, 
now it's animated. If you go backwards and you play, you can see now it's, it's uh, animated. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can change the scale of it for the mapping. Um, the location, just all that, the rotation, and so on and so forth. So it's a pretty straightforward add-on. Uh, you can do some pretty unique things with it. It's got, like I said before, main categories, subcategories, different light presets, gobos, uh, electronics, all that stuff. So it's, it's pretty nice. And that was today's Blender Quick Tip, uh, the better lighting add-on in Blender, a unique add-on. I hope this was helpful for those of you who have uh, watched it. Uh, thank you guys who have been watching the tutorials, and I hope you've learned something from all the tutorials that we've been putting out, or I've been putting out. And I uh, really appreciate you guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.